Good morning students. Today we will learn about metals and non-metals and their chemical and physical properties. Also we have to study about the uses of these metals and some related concept that is noble metals, purity of gold and corrosion and alloys. This concept we have to study in this chapter. So let us study about metals and non-metals. Objects or materials in the world is made up of elements, compounds or different types of mixture. So in this, the element we as we studied earlier the elements we can classify in three groups generally scientists classify these elements in three groups that is metals non-metals and metalloids gold silver mercury sodium magnesium calcium these are the some examples of metals and if you <coughs> ask you, if I ask you the examples of non-metals, you must tell me some examples like carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, chlorine. These are the some examples of non-metals. What is metalloids and which are the examples of metalloids? The elements having the properties, intermediate properties of metals and non-metals. Means elements having some properties of metals and some properties of non-metals. Those elements are known as metalloids. For example, silicon, germanium, arsenic. So these are the examples of metalloids. Then we will see that what is metal. Metals are the elements which are losing the electrons. And this is the formation of positively charged ion. Metals lose their valence electron to form or to produce positively charged ions that is cation and what is non-metals non-metals are elements which accept the electrons to form negatively charged ions that is anion so these are the some major properties of metals and non-metals we'll see details properties about metals and non-metals out of them first we have to see about physical properties of the metals first the physical state of the metal most of the metals are in solid state and if you see non-metals non-metals are generally either in solid state liquid state or maybe in gaseous state but most of the metals are generally in solid state except mercury which is present in liquid state then luster <coughs> if you scrub the copper utensils copper vessels with the help of lemon the light is reflecting on their surface means that vessels are lustrous surface of that metals or surface of that vessels 
is lustrous hence metals are having a property of lustre they are lustrous by non metals do not have property of lustre then hardness most of the metals are hard but non metals are soft and non metals which are present in solid state are brittle having a property of brittleness then ductility we can prepare a wire from metals we can prepare a wire from a metal but this properties we can't see in non metals we can't prepare wire from the non metals malleability if you press the metal you will get a sheet of metal if you press the metal you will get a sheet of that metal means this property of metals is known as malleability but in case of non metals they are non malleable we can't prepare sheet from that non metals conduction of heat and electricity metals are good conductor of heat and electricity this is a transformation of heat transfer of heat from that metals and also there is a transfer of electricity from the metals but in case of non metals non metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity there is no transfer of heat or electricity in the non metals also a density metals are having high density density of the metal the um, density of the metal is high but in case of non metals the density is low then melting point and boiling point of the metals and non metals melting point and boiling point of the metals is high but in case of non metals a melting point and boiling point is low then sonority <coughs> metals are sonorous if you strike on the metal the sound is produced by striking on it that is metals are sonorous to produce sound after striking but non metals are non sonorous they can't produce sound by striking on them so these are the physical properties of the metals and non metals now we'll see about chemical properties of the metals and non metals out of them first electronic configuration <coughs> we are arranging the electrons in different shells of the atom that is known as electronic configuration if you see in the electron configuration of sodium atomic number is 11 that's why 281 this is the electron configuration of sodium then we will take the another example of metal that is magnesium having the atomic number 12 electron configuration is 282 or if we see the electron configuration of aluminium having electron uh, atomic number 13 we get like this 283 these are the metals 
and if you take the examples of non metals chlorine having the atomic number 17 287 phosphorus atomic number 15 285 so these are the non metals these are the metals if you see in the electronic configuration of metals you will observe that the last valence electrons in the electronic configuration of the metals is up to 3 number of electrons valence electrons in metals are up to 3 while in non metals the non metals are having the electrons in last orbit that is in valence cells the electrons are more than 4 is either 5 6 7 like this means if you see in the electrons so electron configuration of the metals the valence electrons are up to 3 uh, and if you see in the electron configuration of the non metals the valence electrons are more than 4 so this is the difference between electron configuration of metals and non metals formation of ions we already know that always all metals are try to become stable and for this purpose they are try to maintain eight electrons in outermost orbit it is a formation of octet they try to get octet in their valence cell outermost cell so metals are donating or losing the electrons valence electron means the electrons which are present in outermost orbit they donate or loses the electrons and by losing the electron there is a formation of positively charge it's cation suppose sodium will lose one electron and there is a formation of na plus magnesium will donate two electrons mg plus 2 and in case of aluminum aluminum will donate or lose three electrons means all metals are loses their electrons and there is a formation of positively charged ions it is cation and in case of non metals they are accepting the electrons the formation of octet in outermost shell they are accept the electrons and complete their octet so we will take one electron to complete their octet that's why accept the one electron so having one negative charge we will accept three electrons to complete their octet that's why phosphorus will take minus 3 3 plus 5 8 it, it will be a completion of octet in this outermost cell by accepting three electrons so this is a difference between metals and non metals in case of formation of ions metals loses their electron in formation of positively charged cation and non metals are accept the electron and 
there is a formation of negatively charged ions that is anions then reaction with oxygen if you see metals and non metals metals are reacts with oxygen to form metal oxide metals are reacts with oxygen to form metal oxide and these metal oxides are if you dilute water that is basic in nature oxides of metals are in basic nature and in case of non metals non metals also react with oxygen as a formation of non metal oxide for example c carbon is non metal reacts with oxygen there is a formation of carbon dioxide non metals oxide like that if you take on the example of magnesium or uh, aluminum or other metals is the reaction with oxygen there is a formation of like this magnesium oxide means metal oxide metals reacts with oxygen to form metal oxide and that those metal oxides are basic in nature non metals are reacts with oxygen and then formation of non metal oxide those are acidic in nature non metal oxides are acidic in nature then reaction with acid metals reacts with dilute acid and this is the formation of salt for example na reacts with hcl is a formation of nacl plus hydrogen gases prepared here means metal reacts with acid dilute acid this is a formation of salt like that non metals are also reacts with acid then reaction with water most of the metals does not shows a fast reaction with this metal uh, fast reaction with water cold water some metals like sodium potassium reacts with water cold water and some metals are reacts with their vapors water vapors means this some metals are reacts with cold water and some metals are reacts with water vapors so these are the some examples of reaction or chemical properties of metals and non metals then we will see about noble metals what is noble metal some elements are occur in nature in elemental state there is no mixing of other elements means they are not occurring in compound form or mixer form they purely present naturally in element state those metals which present in oak uh, in nature in element state elements or metals which are present in element state naturally those are known as noble metals for example gold silver these are the some example platinum these are some examples of noble metals 
so we are using those noble metals in various process or for preparation of various utensils and uh, different types of ornaments uses of non metals out of them first is silver gold platinum these are noble metals which are using in ornament silver gold platinum these noble noble metals we are using in preparing ornament then next use of noble metal is silver metal is having the properties of antibacterial antibacterial properties there in silver that's why the silver is used in medicines the medicines they are using the silver then gold and silver also used to prepare or to make medals gold medals 